Time to add some homegrown herbs to those sasatis on Friday. Tanya Fuss is about to take you in through a very novel way of planting your own herbs in amongst your existing flower beds. Take a look. When it comes to growing your own herb garden, a lot of people tend to think that you need to create a separate space away from your actual garden to grow your herbs. But Tanya Fisser, our builder's garden expert, says you can happily grow your herbs in between your actual garden. Hi Tanya, how are you doing? Good and you? Not too bad, not too bad. I see you've been growing herbs in between your normal little flowers and in your garden. Absolutely. You know, there's no golden rule that says you have to have them in a separate garden. And I love playing around with the textures and the colours. And, I mean, look at those mustard. That red mustard has been grown from seed. It looks absolutely fantastic. I love the textures. And here against the parsley, wow. I mean, that's wicked. In the front here, I've got a low-growing thyme. Um, just crush that and smell that. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a great ground oh, cover. that's beautiful. Instead of just having it in a pot or in the herb garden, you can even put it amongst pavers. So that at least when you're walking and kind of trampling on it, you get that beautiful aroma. So I see you brought along a couple of things. So are we going to be planting today? Yep. What I've got is a salad burnet, um, and I've got the parsley. I mean, this is how you're going to buy the parsley at your local builders. Now, bear this in mind, about how big it's going to get. So play around with the textures. You could even buy it in a tray, much like I bought these little lettuce. But what I want to play around with today is to add some of these little butter lettuce in amongst the violas and the parsley. And of course, plant some baby red cabbage. Hey, these are so new, new. And you know, it's a long crop. A cabbage um, is quite a long crop. It takes about 12 weeks. So whilst they're busy setting their leaves and then eventually forming the cabbage head, you get to enjoy them in your garden. All right, so how are we gonna make sure that our herbs grow beautifully in between the other plants? Most importantly, if you've got a garden in the shade, that ain't gonna work because your herbs need full sun. So at least five hours sunlight a day is what is important. If you've got that, the rest is easy. So you're gonna need a little hand trowel. All right. So you're gonna take one of those guys. We're gonna need some bone meal. Um, okay, and what you're going to do is sprinkle a bit of bone meal over the soil and then maybe one or two spadefuls of compost that we're going to pop into there and turn that in. And because this bed has already been prepped and we've got things growing in here, um, we don't have to really go in there with a fork and a spade. If, however, this was a new bed that you were doing, well, then you really got to do some serious digging. And I mean serious down a whole long spade length or fork length in and turn the soil. But because we've already planted in here before, it's pretty soft, you can see. Even it out a bit. So remember, you want to get your planting heart right. And then we're going to pop some of these little lettuce guys out. Okay. Um, and you just squeeze the bottom of the tray and then pop it through. That's it. And then put the little guy in there. Now, these are the little perpetual lettuce. So you can buy these as seed from your local builders or you can buy them um, in the little trays like this. So depending how adventurous you are and, and how brave you are. Um, and then you're literally going to space them about 20 centimetres apart because that's how nice they get. And um, you can pick leaves as they're growing or you can wait till it gets a full plant and then you can pick the whole lettuce leaf and lettuce flowers. Mm. So you'll actually get a gorgeous flower as well. And that's it. Good job, Batman. <laughs> that's fantastic. Now, I mean, why not have so much fun where you can mix your, your flowering plants with your edible plants and have it all in one space, and especially for folks that are really limited for space in their gardens. I mean, you can have it all. Nobody says that you can't have it all. Perfect. Thank you so much, Tanya. Log on to expressshow.com as well for all of these tips and tricks straight from Tanya.